Alright, we're checking out the only game where you can choose death via constipation. It's Bio Inc. Bio Inc. is a game where you can use infinite amounts of health problems to kill people, but as usual, I only like to use the dumbest ones to draw death as long as possible. John Smith? Oh no. Your name is now I feel like I'm about to drop an engine block into the toilet. Actually, since I can write an entire narrative here, please just murder me, Gray. Someone stop him. Choose death, there you go. Now, in order to actually make this work, we have to follow a very strict regimen of torture. So what I wanna do is kill a man solely with constipation. The way I have it set up, this guy has lived a perfect life with no illnesses at all. Look, he's got six pack abs. So in order to enact the end of life as this man knows it, we have to basically save up enough points to unlock everything at once and then slowly wear him down with stupidity until I can sneak in constipation and then cause that to have all of his additional systems fail. I know this sounds impossible, but that's how the game works, man. All right, just start getting a couple of constipation currencies here. It's like a, it's like a new crypto coin, constipation coin. Oh, we already have a flu epidemic. I love that it just says the entire name. Flu epidemic, I feel like I'm about to drop an engine block into the toilet. And then it does it again. Ooh, more resources will spawn, fantastic. I decided to um, check out just some of the mail things. Uh, I'm really scared to click on this because it looks like a horseshoe crab that's eaten a bunch of ecstasy pills. You know what, I'm just gonna let that sit there for a second. What is this, just like male pattern baldness? It is! Oh, it actually says male pattern baldness. All right, what is the drug abusing stingray over here? Oh, it's prostate cancer. Notice if you look at the symptoms, which is like, this is a terrible thing. The first symptom is just urination difficulty. He's like, it's not working. And the second one, he's like, it's working, but it's red. Oh, uh, yep, kidney disease. I can't say that word. Oh, hey, it's a pair of Raycon earbuds. Oh, and by Raycon earbuds, I mean testicular cancer. The male area is very depressing. Like I said, we need as many resources as we can get. I appreciate that the resources are brown color. It makes fantastic sense. All right, we're gonna need like a hundred before I can buy every single thing to ruin his life. Mm. Skeletal structure. You won't be having that for very long. Don't you worry. 33 days in, our guy looks absolutely fantastic. Look at him. Digestive system is looking super clean. There doesn't appear to be, you know, a wolverine that's gotten loose inside of his intestinal tract. Listen, once stuff starts ramping up in this game, you'll understand, look at how clean his digestive system is right now. You could basically eat off of these intestines. Actually, when I say that out loud, it sounds horrifying. These are some fantastic organs you have. It would be a shame if something were to happen to them. He won't even know what hit him. This is probably gonna take two years for me to kill this man. Look at this, osteoporosis, rickets, leukemia. Too severe. We don't want any of this. Insomnia, that might be okay. Photosensitivity, and not if you live in Florida. Hmm. Urinary incontinence. Actually, this might be fine. The problem isn't the urination. It's the, the, you know, the poopination. Kidney cysts. Doesn't look like a cyst. Looks like he has sprigs of broccoli inside of his kidneys. I might actually want this. The problem is we need enough symptoms so that they can't diagnose the constipation correctly. All right, we're up to about 50, we're getting there. Not gonna lie, my guy has a big brain here. Well, for now. He's probably thinking with that big brain, he's like, hey, Gray, you've got 59 bio points. What are you gonna be doing with all those? <laughs> I got 63 now. I'm not gonna lie, your esophagus going down to your lungs looks like a double stacked like cone of cotton candy. <laughs> the nervous system will probably get mostly left alone, considering like, I think the only thing I can give this guy that won't mess around with my digestive issues I'm planning is, uh, I don't know, maybe like depression or something. See, the idea is you need to get all these systems down, I would say, but I have to make sure the digestive is the knockout punch, an uppercut to the colon, if you will. See, now the best part is he won't do anything because for him, life is just fine. Little does he know, <laughs> it's 2022, so he's screwed. Okay, he's visiting the doctor. This is good, because it's basically a giant waste since I haven't actually done anything to him yet. <laughs> All right, he's drinking alcohol responsibly. All right, there we go. He's starting to work out, very good, that's okay. All right, we're at 100 points. 
time for liftoff. I'm going to unevolve these because I don't want this to cause the death of my guy, but I want to know where kidney cysts move to. Leads to kidney failure, which leads to chronic kidney failure. I love how it's not even like the lack of a kidney. It's the no smoking sign with a kidney. It's like no kidneys allowed. The kidney's trying to get into the club and the club guy is like, whoa, didn't you see the sign? No kidneys allowed. I'm just curious, what happens when you go past urinary incontinence? Hold on, I need to know where this rabbit hole goes. Let me get some points. Gray's reminding you to save your game often because I'd hate to kill my guy in a way that I don't want. Ah, kidney stones. What comes after that? Kidney boulders? Mm, kidney infection. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. And just because I want to know, sepsis. Literal sepsis. This is where your kidneys betray you. We're talking Game of Thrones level betrayal. Want everything here except for unlucky. I don't, I don't want things that I don't have control over to be evolving into this man. Having offspring, bad. Allergies, I have this, bad. All right, terrible diet. Dehydration should absolutely affect constipation. Someone who is addicted to junk food. Nothing like Popeye's chicken RKO in your digestive tract. Very good. All right, yep, overweight. Morbidly obese. Actually, you know what? This has nothing to do with digestive. I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. But do you know what does? Alcoholism, baby! All right, now we're rolling. I love that right now he's gonna get hit with everything at once. Look at all the different stages of sadness he's going through. There's the burger stage, the, the double burger stage, two fisting the burger stage, the actually going to work on time stage. This is one of the worst things you can do in life. Someone say he's drinking three liters of water a day. Whoa, chill out on the JD there, man. Drinking it straight out of the bottle like, like a pro. Don't follow it up with water. Don't try and pretend that you're healthy. All right, time to stop all that. All right, now we need some weak stuff going on here. Let's see here. Yep, not enough bananas. I feel like buying the potassium deficiency is one of those instances where the guy would be like, I get plenty of potassium from my alcohol. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, the high cholesterol I'm totally okay with because it really won't do anything compared to the constipation. Ah, chronic stress affects the digestive system. Perfect. I love how the insomnia just makes it look like the hardest part of waking up is literally waking up. <laughs> We don't want bronchitis. That's too. That's too severe. Now, nope, flu's still too bad as well. See, you gotta, you gotta kill him nicely, okay? I just need a little bit of death. All right, the time has come. We're going for it. All right, there comes all the stress. They're doing some tests, but don't worry, we can screw with that with bag doctors. <laughs> level one and level two. I love how this doctor just doesn't know what he's doing and this doctor is just flipping out. This is the kind of doctor where you go to him and you're like, hey doc, am I gonna die? And the doctor's like, we're all gonna die. And now to sneak in constipation. <laughs> I really love the sound effect. Yeah, see, they're treating all of this, but little do they know. Ah, yes, antidepressants prescribed to treat chronic stress, good. I would hate for the nervous system to collapse before the digestive system can cause the entire downfall of, I feel like I'm about to drop an engine block into the toilet. I feel, I wanna know what the acronym of this is. You see all this other stuff? We're not getting any of this. Oh no, they're they're shoving things up the, up the colon there. Hold on, give them something else to look at. Constipation and diarrhea. Constipated diarrhea. <laughs> Okay, that did not sound like diarrhea. Oh, our guy has the stomach flu. I love how much I've put him through and he's still at 99% health. This is fantastic, we're at 264 days and he doesn't even know that he's being tortured. Like, I'm sure he still feels fantastic. I mean, other than the fact that he's gained like 800 pounds. All right, bag diagnosis. We don't want any more recovery and Bad treatments. All right, over to the treatment pause. Can't have any fiber pills going on. I can't stop loving the skull and crossbones medicine. I feel like that's the kind of thing where your doctor prescribes it to you. You go to the pharmacy, you pick it up. It has a skull and crossbones on the bottle and the person's like, do you have any questions? And you're like, kinda, yeah. Your fiber pills have been replaced with Ajax. All right, time to bring out the fear of doctors. I gotta get this guy to stop going to the hospital. I love this picture here, the doctor is like, everything's gonna be okay, and he's like, don't touch me. Yeah, more time to bring him to the emergency room is good. Once we finally get him to collapse, that's when things will all come together. 
Thank you, Mr. Rooster. All right, I got the spare point, so you might as well get both drug abuse and the obesity. All right, I'm putting both the doctors and the nurses on strike at this point. We need everything we can have in order to make this digestive system continue to fall. You can see it's really starting to move downward now. Yes, good. <laughs> oh my God, the digestive system. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me go ahead and slow this down. I love how it's taken me over 400 days. <laughs> yeah, it's a fantastic idea. Just go ahead and trip on some acid while you're already almost dead. Now, just having constipation is bringing him to a system's failure. Increase failure rate by terminating other systems. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem because we've been warming up the future death so much. They should all, okay. All right, hold on, he's going to the emergency room. They're about to make a surgical error. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh God, everything is going to fail at once. Yes, please murder me, Gray, he said. You got it, autopsy report. Constipation caused the gigantic name's digestive system to collapse, which led to his circulatory system to collapse. My God. I think that what we've learned here is if you cannot circulate poop, you cannot circulate anything, and then you die. 400 something odd days later. <laughs> I think that was the most torturous death I've ever given anyone in this entire game. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Bio Inc. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.